Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound iron 3 sulfate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing I see is iron. So I'm going to scan the periodic table to find where iron is. And iron is right here on the periodic table. It's represented as an Fe. So the first thing I'm going to write down is, okay, I have iron, so I have an Fe. But since I have a transition metal, right, Fe is in this little box right here, it has multiple charges. What charge am I going to use? Oh, the Roman numeral, right? Remember, the Roman numeral always tells me the charge of the metal. And in this case, the metal is iron. So this is a three Roman numeral. So I know that iron is going to exist in the plus three form. It's positive, not negative, because all metals are positive. They love to lose electrons. Now, the next thing I have is sulfate. I see that it's an ATE ending. And just know, guys, all ATE endings, they're always polyatomic ions. You will never find it on the periodic table. Polyatomics have to be memorized. So for the case of this video, I wrote down what sulfate is. You guys just have to memorize it. So use flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just memorize that sulfate is SO4 with a negative 2 charge. Now, since we have both components and both charges, we do this little trick where we crisscross the charges to say how many of each we need. So this plus 3 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 3 of the sulfates. And then this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 2 of the irons. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives. We're just using like the whole number or the counting, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now we're ready to write the formula. So I have Fe, I have iron. This told me that I needed two of them. So I'm going to put a two here. And now here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics, in this case I have three SO4s, I need to see a parenthesis around the polyatomic. So I will write the parenthesis, write the whole polyatomic, so that's SO4, close the parenthesis, and then say how many you have. So I'm going to put a three now. And that's how you write the formula. So iron 3 sulfate is Fe2, F SO4, 3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. Maybe, maybe they'll benefit from this as well. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.